Mr. Chairman, context is everything here, and that comment that we made was made recognizing that as Mr. Witt uh, himself for the, the Witt group um, acknowledged, it wasn't within their charter to look at security in detail. They didn't have the time to look at security in detail. The report recognized that. The commission issued that letter to uh, make clear that many steps were taken, that, were, that the report and the WIT committee was not, a WIT uh, study was not able to, uh, to examine. And so it was in that context that we said we thought it appeared as if undue weight may have been given, uh, that not enough was recognized regarding the kinds of steps that I talked about earlier. So it was not in any way uh, downplaying you know, terrorism and the potential impacts that they could have. And as far as differences are concerned, certainly uh, a scenario involving terrorism would be different than uh, you know, sequences that, that uh, might involve, uh, you know, a, uh, a pump or a power supply and the like. But what we have always required is that the emergency plan be able to deal with a whole spectrum of things, things we can't even think about today. And it's in that respect, it's in the results, it's in the outcome that we have talked about how the current emergency um, plans we feel uh, address and encompass the kinds of things that can occur as a result of a terrorist attack. We're talking about the potential for releases from the plant. We have always required that large, fast developing uh, releases be, uh, be um, addressed through emergency planning.